this was the scene on a bright and sunny morning. Forms are being removed from the centre section of what will become the front wall. Despite a non-stick surface, some take a little persuasion. Removal of spoil continues to take a high priority. All the while, as spoil is removed and the ground cleared, more gravel arrives for spreading, rolling and compacting. Meanwhile, on the south side of the site, work is taking place to remove an old storm drain and install a new one. Tuesday saw the unwelcome, but not altogether unexpected arrival of a snowstorm. Much attention was focused on the removal of forms from another section of the concrete wall. It's a team game once again, some of the forms appear reluctant to let go. But refusal is not an option. And with the assistance of a very versatile telehandler, the forms are off to a temporary storage site. Along the line of the storm drain, as one excavator breaks rock for the new trench, the other clears spoil to expose the old one. And the front loader is busy in the background clearing snow. By day's end, with the snow passed, the new trench is very clearly visible. The pace of change on site is such that on Wednesday we were already seeing the old pipes being removed and the new ones installed. Pipe runs sometimes demand something other than a standard length of pipe. Whilst all of this work continued, the concrete wall on the east side was gently curing under tarp. After a quiet day on Wednesday, on Thursday it was all systems go, expanding the gravel base. The gravel doesn't deliver itself, so that meant a steady stream of trucks. Both coming and going. Work continued on the replacement storm drain, where the new line can be clearly seen. Work was evident on the connection to a new vault. With the new pipe in place and consolidated, a caution tape is laid along the top to advise future excavators of its presence. All the while, 
the heated curing of the concrete carries on. Friday saw the site subjected to some of the coldest temperatures this year. Work to extend the new storm drain was temporarily halted. You can see both the old and the new lines here. It turned out to be a day primarily devoted to expanding the gravel base, with a steady stream of trucks providing the essential material. There's absolutely no time wasted in working the delivered gravel. The activity demonstrates once again a strong team working in concert. We'll close this week with a look at the curing concrete and a wish for better weather next week. Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing.